cash. <laughs> like when I need to spend some money on rent or food or electricity. Um, prior to this Christmas season, I had only ever done it in the fun season to work at a jam stand, which is summer. And I did it at a place called Schmorgisburg in Williamsburg, which is a, it's an abandoned commercial lot um, that a lot of people with trucks and big grills go to to make a shitload of money off of hungover uh, bridge and tunnel people, actually, <laughs> who travel to Williamsburg for the cool Saturday morning sardines that they sell there. Um, nobody wants to buy jam. And I'm the kind of person that if I'm doing something, I like to be very good at it. Even if I'm being paid what I'm being paid. <laughs> at the jam stand. So... I would stand there and just fantasize about how to get everybody at Smorgasburg really into jams. And I imagine like one person coming over to the jam stand and just like maybe I would start to slowly chant it but they would chime in right away. And I would just start saying jams, 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 jams. Jams, 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 and then everybody in Schmorgasburg would abandon their sardines and run over to the jam stand and buy habanero jelly and raspy boy barbed jelly and cherry cot jelly and jam and red currant, black currant. We even got a tomato jam. <laughs> watermelon rind, pickled watermelon rind. Why wouldn't you just jam jams over and over again? Now let me tell you something else. It's not as fun when it's 30 degrees outside. <laughs> And that remained my fantasy, but often I would show up an hour to two hours late <laughs> for my shift and pretend like my shift started later. And everybody there would believe me because they knew it meant paying me less. <laughs> and that was a perk for the jam ladies. But let me tell you one day when I regretted it. That was December 21st, 2012. When a miss, <clears throat> Bette Midler. <laughs> Wandered through the farmer's market, wearing a little strawberry cap. And Beth, owner of Beth's Farm Kitchen, saw her, not knowing anything about pop culture, she didn't know who that was. Wow walked straight over to her and said, Listen, I love your hat. I'm a jam lady, and I love anything with fruit on it. <laughs> and of course, Bette Midler thought she was just being accosted by a fan. But really, Beth was trying to make a fan of her jams. <laughs> Bette Midler kept a walking. <laughs> But you want to know what happened next? Yes. Bette Midler turned around. She came right over to the Beth's Farm Kitchen jam stand, Ow. went straight to that samples table, <laughs> tried some of the no sugar added pear preserves, Beth Linsky had a fan. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm ready. When a 
he held me in his arms. When he held me in his arms, he said, baby, 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 you're the only one for me. When a man loves a woman, can't keep his mind on nothing else. He trade the world for the good thing he found. If she's bad, he can see it. She can do no wrong. Turn his back on his best friend if he put her down. When a man loves a woman, spend his very last dime trying to hold on to what he needs. Give up all his comfort. Sleep out, sleep out in the rain. If she says, baby, that is how it's gonna be. When a man loves a woman, gives up everything he has, trying to hold on to your precious love, saying, baby, don't you treat me, treat me When a man loves a woman Deep down in his soul She can be such misery Deep down in his soul, she can bring him such misery. If she's playing for a fall, he's the last one to know. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes.